Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. We're continuing to walk through the book of Proverbs. I hope and pray that each of these is touching your heart and your mind, and most of all, impacting your life, that you're becoming a doer of God's word and not a hearer only, like the book of James says. Uh, Today, our theme is simply this. Relax, because God knows what's going on. Just relax. When you look at our crazy world, all that's happening, God knows what's going on. Even if you're not sure if God does, I'm telling you, He does. Listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 16, verses 4 and 5. This is God's Word. The Lord works out everything to its proper end, even the wicked for the day of disaster. The Lord detests all the proud of heart. Be sure of this, they will not go unpunished. In case you're wondering if God knows what's going on, in case when you look and see radical evil close by you or on the other side of the planet, and you think, are things ever going to be made right? What is going on? Has God just forgotten what's happening in this world? Listen to these words one more time. Proverbs 16, verses 4 and 5. The Lord works out everything to its proper end. And whatever's going on, God's hand is in that. Even the wicked for the day of disaster. The Lord detests all the proud of heart. Be sure of this, they will not go unpunished. When it's all said and done, God is on the throne. When it's all said and done, God is in charge. And at the end of the day, evil will be dealt with, either by the grace of God through faith in Jesus, or the judgment of God, a holy God, on the reality of sin. But our anxiety about the wickedness in the world will not change it. Now, we should be difference makers, we should pray, we should help, we should try to be change agents in this world and certainly take care of our own hearts and minds. But at the end of the day, God will deal with things and so we can take a deep breath and not feel like we have to control the whole universe. When it looks like evil is winning and wickedness is spreading like wildfire, understand God is still on the throne. Whether that's in your personal life, on a national level, on a global scale. Uh, we, we watch so many news feeds. We hear so many things that are going on in the world. And, and we hear it through a filtered perspective, but we can see there's lots of bad things going on. At the end of the day, God will deal with it. And this is important to see in this passage, that God even knows the condition of the heart, that, that pride is a concern for God, and humility honors God. And so when you're looking at a situation, that, that person at work who's slacking and they're not doing their part, and and there's nothing you can do about it. Understand, God's aware of what's going on. When you're at school and you're studying hard and that person's cheating or that person's doing an end around and you think, this is unjust, this is wrong. Or or, or when there is radical evil going on where, where, where people or movements or nations are doing things that are destroying others. And you say, you know, what can I do? Part of what we do is pray. Part of what we do is trust in God. Part of what we do is try to make a difference wherever we can, but at the end of the day, we place our trust in God. And so here's the challenge. Focus on your heart and your life. I may not be able to control global evil. I may not be able to control national evil. I may not be able to control local evil. But there's there's an awareness in this passage that, that God hates a prideful heart. I can look at my heart. I can look at my actions. I can look at my behavior and submit those to God. And the more people that do that, that begins to change our world. So start at home. Start where you live. Start in your own heart. Make a difference where you can. And understand that God is on the throne. He will deal, at the end of the day, He will deal with the evil of this world. Entrust it to Him. Will you pray with me? God, we look at this broken world. And all the way from the garden, back in Genesis... There's been sin, there's been brokenness, and there still there is today. Would you help us to trust in you, to walk in peace, to be filled with your strength, to make a difference? And Lord, help us search our own hearts and our own minds. May we walk in humility and honor you. May we not be agents of evil. That's one thing we can fight against in your power. Help us to do that, we pray, for Jesus' sake. Amen. God's blessings on you. Have a great day. If you're part of a a local church somewhere around the country, around the world, be part of your local church. If you're part of Shoreline Church, we'll see you on Sunday mornings, 9 o'clock and 11. Hope to see you there. God bless you.